unveiling long-awaited new details around its large language model, Gemini. It's the next version of its large language model and the answer to OpenAI's ChatGPT that can incorporate images and sounds. Sundar Pichai calls Gemini a new era of AI and a huge leap forward that will affect and flow across Google products. If I were to look at the foundational breakthroughs in AI over the past decade, Google has been at the forefront of many of those breakthroughs. Gemini is our largest and most capable model. It means that Gemini can understand the world around us in the way that we do. So not just text, but also code, audio, image, and video. Taylor used Gemini to search a large corpus of scientific papers for key information. We wrote a prompt. With its advanced reasoning capabilities, Gemini was able to distinguish between papers that were relevant to the study and those that weren't. I'm delighted to introduce AlphaCode 2, powered by Gemini. When we evaluate AlphaCode 2 on the same platform as the original AlphaCode, we solve almost twice as many problems. Gemini on its own has the ability to transform software development as we understand it. Based on their design, which of these would go faster? The car on the right would be faster. It is more aerodynamic. But safety and responsibility has to be built in from the beginning. And that has oriented us to be both bold and responsible together. Developers and enterprise customers are going to figure out really creative ways to further refine our foundational models. Gemini will be available in three sizes. Gemini Ultra, our most capable and largest model for highly complex tasks. Gemini Pro, our best performing model for a broad range of tasks. And Gemini Nano, our most efficient model for on-device tasks. It's been a monumental engineering task, which has been, you know, very challenging, but also very exciting. Now, this is some exciting news. Google just unveiled Gemini, their most advanced AI model to date. It's a powerhouse, topping the charts on 30 out of 32 benchmarks, spanning code, text, images, and video. In addition, BART is now powered up by Gemini Pro. And in 2024, Gemini will spread its wings to more Google products like Chrome, Search, and Duet AI. The progress in BARD's capabilities with Gemini Pro, especially in code generation and debugging, is impressive. Gemini Ultra shines in coding benchmarks, making it a fantastic foundation for programming and complex math tasks. Developers can get their hands on Gemini Pro through an API on Google AI Studio or Google Cloud Vertex AI starting mid-December 2023. Gemini is a versatile family of multimodal models, excelling in image, audio, video, and text domains. Gemini Ultra, the cream of the crop, pushes the boundaries in 30 out of 32 benchmarks. Kudos to the dedicated teams across Google DeepMind, Google Research, and beyond who made this groundbreaking work possible. Now let's check out some demos testing Gemini's capabilities. First, let's put Gemini's visual smarts to the test. We're throwing two images at it, the Bossius Chapel and this print by Hakusai. And I'll ask Gemini, find a connection between these two images. And here's what it came out with, a curved and organic composition. The building is more refined and the second image is more more fluid. Nailed it. Now, how about the moon and a golf ball on my webcam? And I'll use the same prompt. Let's see what it says. In 1971, the Apollo 14 crew hit two golf balls on the lunar surface. Now, that's some cool trivia. Last one, just for kicks. Who wore it better? The zebra. Gemini's got a sense of humor. It adds, the zebra has been wearing its stripes for millions of years. These examples show Gemini's knack for understanding visuals. Exciting stuff. Moving on, let's check out Gemini's coding skills. I'll give it an image of a tree. Select the part I want and ask the following prompt. Can you turn this image into an SVG? Gemini's response, this represents the main shapes of a tree. That's pretty impressive. Now, for a tougher challenge, let's see if Gemini can whip up an interactive demo in JavaScript. And voila, Gemini delivers. It says, a common algorithm for this is called a fractal tree. It even provided a slider to tweak those fractals. And on top of that, it even hands over the actual code. Excellent work. Now, let's put Gemini's multimodal skills to the test in navigating an apartment. Adding an extra twist, the user will only use prompts in Chinese. We'll start with this photo. Based on the lighting alone, I want to see if Gemini can figure out which direction my apartment faces. And Gemini responds. Gemini says the room is south facing. Nice. Now, onto the plant. What type of light does it need? So Gemini is saying this is a snake plant and it doesn't require a lot of sunlight. Gemini identifies it as a snake plant and notes it doesn't need a lot of sunlight. Awesome. Now onto the dining room, which faces the opposite direction of the bedroom. I wonder if this plant would do better in there. Gemini 
so Gemini is surmising that my dining room faces north, has lower light, and is therefore better suited for that plant. Now that's some incredible apartment planning with Gemini. Moving on, let's look at insights in scientific literature. Scientists often grapple with a common issue, the daunting task of sifting through extensive scientific literature to find and utilize essential data. This process involves manually searching through thousands of scientific papers for key information, making it a time-consuming and challenging workflow. Interestingly, even scientists at Google DeepMind encounter this hurdle. To streamline the process, they turn to Gemini, leveraging its remarkable understanding of science. Taylor will delve deeper into how Gemini assists in overcoming this significant challenge. So we were looking at this study from 2022. The authors had created a data set by reviewing tens of thousands of scientific papers in genetics. They found a few hundred papers that contained the relevant information, extracted it by hand, and collected it in a table. Studies like this can take a lot of time. We needed to update this data set with what's new over the last couple of years. But that's over 200,000 new open access papers added to this domain since 2021. We couldn't do this manually, so we asked Gemini to help us out. First, we needed to filter for relevant scientific papers. We wrote a prompt, just like this one, telling Gemini exactly what to look for. With its advanced reasoning capabilities, Gemini was able to distinguish between papers that were relevant to the study and those that weren't. For the relevant papers, we wrote a similar prompt, asking Gemini to read the paper and extract the key data for us. We could even ask Gemini to add annotations. This showed us exactly where in the paper Gemini found the information. We ran this at scale, and over a lunch break, Gemini read 200,000 papers for us, filtered it down to 250, and extracted their data. So now we have a refreshed version of this data set. But because Gemini is multimodal, not only can it reason about information from text, it can also reason about figures. So let me show you something really neat. With our refreshed data set, we can now ask Gemini to update a graph from the original study. We first gave Gemini a screenshot of this figure. Then we asked it to generate the code required to plot it. And by feeding this code our new data set, we get our updated figure. You can see that this figure now includes data up until 2023. So Taylor leveraged Gemini's power to sift through an extensive collection of literature, identifying relevant papers and extracting crucial information while also updating figures. These capabilities aren't limited to biologists or scientists. They naturally extend to any field reliant on large data sets like law or finance. Gemini opens up possibilities and we're thrilled to see the innovative applications you'll create with it. Now, we all know being being a parent often involves assisting your kids with homework, and I've been there too. This is where Gemini steps in to offer a helping hand. For this demo, we've created a simple interface, and with some clever prompting under the hood, we can really leverage Gemini's math, reasoning, and multimodal capabilities to learn a subject like physics. With Gemini, you can upload a photo of handwritten answers on a worksheet. Not only can Gemini solve these problems, but this is the amazing part. It can read the answers and understand what was right and what was wrong and explain the concepts that need more clarification. So Gemini identified some mistakes with problems one and three here. Let's take a look at three. Here Gemini identifies that the formula was correct, but there was a mistake in calculating height. We can ask Gemini to explain in more details why the height is 50 meters instead of six. I can ask Gemini to explain further. Here Gemini explains the step-by-step -step details to solving the problem. Because of Gemini's ability to understand nuanced information and answer questions relating to complicated topics, it can give you a customized explanation of the subject you're trying to learn. And lastly, if you want to learn more, you can just ask. Gemini will provide personalized practice problems based on mistakes. Here I have a similar problem where I have to figure out the cat's speed. The height of the ramp is double. All right, so that is kind of all what we wanted to share today. Google's Gemini seems to mark a significant leap in AI capability, showcasing unparalleled performance across a multitude of benchmarks in code, text, images, and video. The only thing I am worried about, how far Google will go with. Will Google be able to successfully integrate Gemini into their entire product line, or Gemini end up being on the list of hundreds of projects Google has failed at in the past? The upcoming expansion of Gemini into various Google products signals a broader impact on user experiences. The collaborative effort 
effort of teams across Google has culminated in a groundbreaking achievement that propels the field of AI forward. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our AI trail. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.